welcome back to the Sub 4 RE channel, everybody. I'm your host, Rhino, and today we have day two of the Bounty Hunter Challenge. Yep, that's right. Remember, I spotted everybody $20 if somebody could take down the Cadillac 16, our quarter mile champion. Every entry sent in by the YouTube viewers, they added $1, so there's a total of $44 out there if somebody can take down the Cadillac 16. So we had Ken Castillo in the 70 Dodge Charger RT uh, take day one. We got the six cars lined up for race one here of day two. First car to win three will advance. If a car should win but not make it out of this, not win this event here in day two, they will go into a wild card round. Okay. All right. At this time, let's take a look at the lane assignments for the first race. We'll bump them down each a lane going forward in each race after that so let's take a look at the cars and who's driving them today all right let's meet our car owners for the start of day two and lane one down at the bottom and the four by fours john Mueller. row two one of the popular cars in terms of youtubers picking was the dodge concept car sent in by dirty deep row three he won day one can he win day two and the velociraptor ken castillo and in lane four heavily uh represented in this tournament in the f-150 john Mueller again row five in the cadillac one trentman by way of dirty deep and in row six another john Mueller special the dotson bluebird 510 rally the first of two dotson bluebird 510s in this challenge all right, let's do it. All right, Dirty Deep takes the first one in pretty easy fashion. Here we go, race two. Let's do it. All right, another win for Dirty Deeb. One win away from a clean sweep here for that Baby Ruth Dodge Concept car. All right, before we do that, a couple quick announcements from the Sub4 RA channel. Uh, obviously it looks like I got my hands full with stuff coming up but for now the matter at hand here we are day two of the bounty hunter challenge with 30 deep in the Dodge concept car one went away 
Cars have been adjusted in the lanes accordingly. Let's do it. Well, that was a much closer race, but like Dominic Toretto said, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, winning's winning. And Dirty Deep completes the second straight clean sweep of this Bounty Hunter Challenge here for day two in that Baby Ruth Dodge concept car. What that means to me is the YouTube viewers have sent in cars that are going to give that Cadillac 16 a serious threat, I have a feeling. But for now, we're done with day one, day two. Let's draw the cars for day three. Random draw, here we go. All right, here we go. Let's dig in randomly with what cars are left. First up, Ken Castillo's. This is IROC. Next up, oh, the Porsche. We know what that means. That's Dave Akers. Color shifter van. Next up, oh, we got Ken Castillo's Mira got two cars represented and now we got John Miller's Firebird nice Ooh, Mike James faster than ever super snake oh this race is getting lineup is getting good and we got King Castile's Roger Darger but first things first we gotta at least for our cameo we got to take the Porsche and replace it with Dave Akers on ice custom van Ooh, nice that looks good too all right let's do it all right, there's your lineup for day three, and so far I'd have to say the most impressive lineup so far. This should be a good race. So comment down below what you thought of today's festivities, day two with that Dodge Concept car winning, and put down your pick for day three. Who do you think is going to take it? Congratulations goes out once again to Dirty Deeb for the clean sweep in that Dodge Concept car. This was a popular pick, this car right here amongst other YouTube viewers in the preview video. So it's taking care of step one and getting to that finals. It's gonna have its hands full with the Caddy 16 and all the other cars that will be in it as well. As always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next one.